Hello everyone. The topic is fixed partial lenses from prosthodontics. Now, the topics that I'm going to cover in this fixed partial lenses are the introduction to it, then the types or the classification of FPD, then the parts of FPD that are the three basic components of FPD are pontic retainer connector. So I'm going to explain them in brief. Then about the abutment selection. Now this abutment, it is one of the most important thing for your FPD. So now there are various factors in selecting the abutment. Then what are the different types of abutment? Then about the tooth preparation, now you, you have your abutment. So you need to prepare that tooth so that your retainers, they go and sit on that abutment. So for that, you need that tooth preparation. So I'm going to cover about this tooth preparation in depth because this is a most commonly asked LAQ. Then about the temporization or it is known as provisional restoration. Then about the fluid control and the gingival retraction and a laminate veneer. So now this is the most trending topic about the veneers, which I'm going to cover. Like you would know about what this exact veneers are. So now starting with the first topic that is the introduction to FPD. So first we'll go for the definitions. So now what is fixed prosthodontics? So it is a branch of prosthodontics that is concerned with the replacement and or restoration of the teeth by the artificial substitute. So you are replacing the edentulous space by the artificial substitute which are not readily removed from the mouth. So there are fixed prosthodontics. So they are getting fixed into the mouth which cannot be removed readily from the mouth. So this definition it was given by GPT-8. Now the next definition is what is FPD that is your fixed partial denture. So a dental prosthesis that is luted, screwed or it is mechanically attached. So first we are going to see about this part. Now I'm going to break this definition into various parts so you'll know what exactly this definition is. So it's a prosthesis that is luted, screwed or mechanically attached. Now luted is with the help of luting agent that is cementation. So now this is like an example of veneers. Now over here what you do in veneers is you do the crown preparation and after that you apply that luting agent and then you fix the crown on it. So this is veneers which is luted. Then next is the screwed ones. So now over here this is also luted. So you can see the white portion. This is one is the luting agent. So it is also used when you are doing so when you have done the endodontically treated tooth. So after that you place a crown on it. So you apply that luting agent and then you fix that crown on that prepared tooth. Then it, the next is screwed. So screwed can be the implants with the help of implants you are using or you are preparing that fixed partial dentures or it is mechanically attached. So mechanically attached it can be like when you have treated a tooth which is endodontically treated and in that case the crown it is grossly destructed. So now in FPD what the main thing is you want the support. So in this if the crown is grossly destructed so in that case you cannot prepare that crown. So in that what you're doing is you're taking the support from the root with the help of the post. So that is nothing but mechanically attached. So this is the post and core. So you are placing the post into the roots and you're taking the support and after that you're placing the artificial crown onto that. So that is mechanically attached or it is otherwise securely retained to the natural teeth. So basically it is nothing but now you know your abutments. This is the most important thing for your FPD. So what you do is you prepare that abutment. So abutment it's not like it should be always the natural tooth. It can be your teeth, implants or it can be your tooth roots. So those all are Basically, abutment are those from which you get the support. So they are securely retained to the natural teeth, tooth roots or and the dental implant abutments that furnish the primary support for the dental prosthesis. So that main support of the fixed partial lenses is through the abutments. So this is about the first part of your definition. So they are commonly referred to as a bridges and they cannot be removed by the patient. So they are fixed. They cannot be removed by the patient. And this fixed partial lenses, they are commonly known as bridges. So this is nothing but your FPD over here. Now the, this part, the retainer. So this is your abutment, the teeth which are already present, the natural present teeth. So what you do is you do the tooth preparation and then you place the retainers on this preparation. And over here, this is your edentulous space. So this part which covers or which replaces that edentulous space is known as pontic. So this is the components of your FPD. So the supporting teeth, they are known as abutment. Now your abutment, they can be the tooth or the tooth roots or they can be the implants. So the main thing abutment is when you get the support. So the abutment, they mainly do the work of primary support to your FPD. So these are your abutment that are natural present teeth. So what you do is you are preparing or you're reducing the size of your abutment so that the retainers, they go and properly sit onto that abutment. So you take the support from your, this natural present teeth. Over here now, these are your retainers. So these are your abutments. This is the abutment preparation. This is the edentulous ridge. So the retainers are the one that goes on the abutment and sit properly. They do the main function that is retaining the FPD. So the restoration that are cemented onto the abutment and retain the FPD are the retainers. So these two 
which goes and sit on the abutment they are the retainers the artificial replacement tooth is known as pontic now this is your edentulous ridge so the component of fpd that replaces this area is known as a pontic and the retainers they are joined to the pontic with the help of connector now you need to like connect this pontic and retainers so it is connected with the help of a connector so these three are the main components of your fpd now when a question is asked in your viva like what are the components of fpd so you have to say they are retainers pontic and connectors you are not going to say about the abutment because abutment is not a component of fpd but they are like they get they are doing the work of primary support to your fpd so this is about the components like in short so i'm going to explain about all of them in brief like individually so now what are the indications of fpd so first is the short span edentulous arch so span is nothing but the number of teeth which are absent so it if you want to construct a fpd so in that case the arch span it should be short which means the number of missing teeth they should be less in number the next is the abutment teeth and the supporting tissues are healthy now we know we take the support from the abutments to construct this fpd if the abutments they are healthy and then only you can construct a fpd the next is the to harmonize the dental occlusion and temporomandibular joint disorder now if there is a tooth which is absent so that it will lead to the temporomandibular joint disorder so to create so to correct that you are making a fpd so to harmonize the dental occlusion in the temporomandibular joint disorders you are making a fpd the next is to stabilize the dentition after the advanced periodontal therapy so after you have done the advanced periodontal therapy so to stabilize the dentition you are using this fpds in any form then the cases with ridge resorption where rpd cannot be stable now we know in rpd we require we take the support from the tooth and the tissue we take the support from tissue also so in that case if the ridge it is resolved and your rpd it cannot be stable so in that case you are using the fpd then when the patient the desire of fixed prosthesis so when the patient is usually the younger patients then adults so usually the adults they do not want the removal prosthesis so in that case when the patient is desiring for a fixed prosthesis so that in that you using a fpd the next is when the patient they has the skills and the motivation to maintain the oral hygiene so in that case you are indicating a fpd so this fpd they should be properly like there should be proper oral hygiene and then only you can indicate this fpd and the next is when the removal process is it is not indicated as in mentally and physically challenged patient so in that case you need to use fpds so you need to like fix the processes if the patient he is mentally or physically challenged now what are the contraindications of fpd so first is the edential space with no distal abutment now we know we are taking the support from the abutment but if there is no distal abutment so in that case you cannot construct a fpd so you have to go for the distal extension rpds the next is the long edential spaces now as we have seen the indication was a short span edential arch so if the like if many teeth are missing in a particular region so in that case you cannot use a fpd the next is if there is a bilateral edentulous space with more than two missing on either side it requires cross arch stabilization so in that case you are indicating a rpd because now your major connectors did do this work of cross arch stabilization with the help of your connectors you have this function of cross arch stabilization which means that when there is bilateral edentulous spaces on both the side there are edentulous spaces so in that case you are not using the fpd then if there is a pre pre presence of periodontal weakened abutments so now your abutments they should be strong and they should be healthy when you have to construct a fpd the teeth with the short clinical crown like congenitally malformed teeth now we know we are doing the preparation of the crown in the case of fpd so if the clinical crown is only short like in the congenitally malformed teeth so in that case you cannot go for fpd the next step is there if there is severe loss of tissue in edentulous ridge because of surgery or trauma again you cannot go for fpd then the patient they have poor oral hygiene so for your fpd you require good oral hygiene the very young patients with wide pulp chamber because now you are doing the tooth preparation so when you do the tooth preparation there are chances in very young patient that the pulp it may get exposed because they have wider pulp chambers so in that you are not doing the fpd you are going for basically you are going for removal and later on when they grow up then you can go for the fixed partial dentures then the very old patient because of the brittle teeth 
and if there are any medically compromised patient like leukemia hypertension diabetes now we have seen now we know like in diabetes the sixth complication is periodontitis so now periodontitis is basically it affects your teeth abutment so in that you won't get that proper support and because of that you like contraindicate fpd in the medically compromised patient now what are the advantages of fpd first is aesthetic obviously fpd they look more aesthetically good than when you're like comparing it with the rpd now the patient they feel more secure than with the rpd now rpd they are removal ones so there are like insecurities in the patient's mind that it may come off and like it is not properly retained or stable so in that case fpd they are more secure so patient they feel more secure when you're comparing it with the rpd then the capable capability of directing the forces along the long axis of the tooth now we are taking support from the abutment so you are directing whatever forces are along the long axis of the tooth so that there are no like damage to the tooth or the tissues then they have superior strength they provide occlusal function they provide proper occlusal functions as you are preparing them properly as you are preparing the crown with like harmonious occlusion with the other teeth then you are maintaining the arch integrity or the tooth position then there is maintenance of the occlusal relationship like proper occlusion is maintained if in the case of fpd then it protects and preserves the remaining structure those were the advantages of fpd now what are the disadvantages the first is it involves the irreversible preparation of the abutment teeth now we are doing the preparation tooth preparation for your abutments so it is the irreversible it's not like you can reverse it back to the natural teeth obviously so it is nothing but the irreversible preparation of the abutment teeth so this is the main disadvantage that your abutment they can be healthy teeth also so you are preparing that healthy tooth the next disadvantage is the preparation it may injure the pulp and the periodontium now in the tooth preparation there are various factors like you are doing the gingival preparation or the occlusal preparation so in that case there can be like problems where the preparation it can injure the pulp and the periodontium when you are doing the actual preparation so you can like expose the pulp so in that case then you have to go for the rct and then you have to place the crown so this is the disadvantage the next is the cost of remake if it needs to be replaced now now if your fpd it needs to be replaced then you have to invest like again whatever the cost was for your fpd again then it becomes like expensive so this is the disadvantages of the fpd so this was all about the introduction to fpd i hope you found this video helpful and if you did then please like comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as i'm coming with all the other topics of the fpd thank you so much